Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, we will be studying about number system. So, this is the second video of chapter 2, class 11th computer science from the NCRT book. In the previous video, we studied about the encoding schemes and in the remaining chapter, we will be studying the number systems and this is the introductory video for it. Okay. So, what is a number system? See, number system is a way of representing numbers. In daily life, we usually use decimal numbers which consist of 10 different digits which are 10 unique digits from 0 to 9 and all the numbers uh, irrespective of their value, the small number uh, or higher values, all of them are represented, represented using these 10 unique digits only. Okay, So, this is the decimal system. But Apart from the decimal system, there are other ways of representing numbers and they, the other ways not only consist of using the numbers, the digits itself, the numeric digits itself, but they also make use of the alphabet. So, we will be studying more about different number systems in this lecture and getting a grasp of what they are. Okay. So, how these different number systems are actually different from each other. As I told, different number systems differ from each other depending upon how many unique characters they actually use to represent numbers. And these unique characters are mainly known as literals. Okay, So, if a number system is using 10 literals, just like the decimal number system, then we say that this number system has a base of 10 or a radix of 10 okay if a number system is using two unique digits or two unique symbols that can either be alphabets that can be numbers or digits itself then that uh, uh, number system will have a base or a radix of 2 okay so for each number system we have a specific radix okay and uh, there are four major number systems that we consider when we talk about computer and how computer processes information. So, we have studied about the first and the most important one, the binary number system. It consists of two unique digits, 0 and 1s and since there are two literals, so it has a base of 2 and this is the uh, way or this is the method in which the computer understands information and converts it into the binary form from any human understandable form. Okay, So, the second most important and the most usable uh, in our daily lives is the decimal number system. Decimal number system comprises of 10 different uh, unique digits or literals and that is why it has a radix or base 10. Okay, The third one is the hexadecimal number system. The hexadecimal, as you can say, hex refers to 16. So, it has 16 literals and these 16 literals are basically the digits 0 to 9 and the alphabets capital A to capital F or uh, generally we write it in the form of capital A to capital F. Capital A represents 10, capital F represents 15 and uh, B, C, D, E represent 11 to 14. Uh, respectively okay and the last number system that is the uh, another important number system in terms of computer science is octal number system it consists of eight unique digits or eight unique literals which gives it a base of eight okay so uh, there are few general things that you must uh, remember about any number system the number systems that we will be studying in uh, this chapter and with respect to computer science are also known as positional number system. And why is it so? Because each symbol in the uh, number represented by any number system, the value of that symbol depends on the position in which that symbol is occurring. So, if this is the decimal point, then uh, if a 1 is occurring just before the decimal point, then it, it will have certain value. But if it is occurring just after the decimal point, its value will be completely different. So, uh, why the number system is known as positional? Because the value of each literal is uh, 
is basically defined by the position on which that literal is present okay and any number system not only the decimal the binary hexa and octadecimal system they can also have fractional parts and we'll see how to find out the values how to compute the values of the integral and the fractional parts of all these four uh, number systems when we study them in detail in the upcoming lectures okay now one thing you must remember that uh, when we uh, talk about any number system the position that is to the right of the uh, decimal represents the fractional part and to the left of the decimal represents the integer part okay so this particular position which comes just to the left of the decimal point has a power or a position of zero and as we go from right to left on the integer side this position increases by one okay and these positions are important because these will help you in calculating the value of the entire uh, number in different number systems this will become more clear as i take one example now when you are uh, seeing the fractional part uh, that is the right hand side of the decimal then you see that the position we define in terms of negative numbers and this position goes on uh, decreasing in value as we move from left to right okay so minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 and so on okay so now if we have a number say 456.78 okay and the uh, positions uh, we have to define their positions will be defined in terms of just to the left of decimal 0 1 and 2 and just to the right of decimal minus 1 and minus 2 now if we have to calculate the value of a given number then we need the base or the radix of that number because see we have noted that the decimal number system can also contain the uh, digits 0 to 9 the octal number system can also contain the digits 0 to 7 and the hexadecimal can also contain the digits 0 to 9 okay so the common digits if uh, digits from 0 to 7 are occurring in any particular number we must know to which number system the uh, these uh, digits belong then only we will be able to calculate the actual value of that number so for example if you write 1 0 now in decimal number system this represents 10 but in binary number system this does not has a value of 10 this has a value of 2 because this position is uh, okay so let's uh, get a rough idea we'll be, i'll be explaining you in uh, this in detail in the next video also so uh, when we talk about binary then what is the base the base is 2 okay there are two unique digits so the position of this 0 is position 0 so we'll raise 2 to the power 0 the position of this 1 is position 1 so we'll raise 2 to the power 1 and 2 to the power 1 plus 2 to the power 0 will give you 2 in itself okay so the value of this number 1 0 will be 2 in binary so that is why number systems are known as positional number systems and how we calculate the value of each uh, number in different number systems depends upon what radix we are using depending upon the number system we are using okay so each has a fractional as well as integral part and we have to be very careful while finding out that what is the total value of that particular number in a particular number system so i hope you are clear about the basics of what a number system is i'll be explaining in detail the four uh, different number systems in upcoming videos so stay tuned to our series so we'll see you in the next lecture till then find your exam